Hello and welcome to my science tutorials useful study tips. In today's video, I want to share with you how to plot a graph and determine the domain, range, point of maxima and minima, point of inflection, vertical, horizontal and oblique asymptotes as well as the x and y intercepts without doing any calculations and just by using your windows calculator. Before we begin, make sure to like subscribe and turn on that notification bell so that you don't miss any useful tips from us in the future so without further ado let's begin so the first thing we want to do is just to come down to the start menu then we scroll down and locate our windows calculator here it is so we select it and allow it to open now yours at default may be set to standard but don't worry all you have to do is to come here click on this icon over here and then come to graphing this is what we are going to use in today's tutorial so you click on that this is how your graphing calculator looks like so just to explore the calculator a little bit you can use this arrow okay to move the the graph okay around as you wish or you can come here select this and then you come down here and you can select match up them if you do that it is going to give you a black window okay graph okay so it depends on what you want to use if you prefer you can just use always light to keep it light so that it's visible enough for you to see or if you prefer you can just match up with them so that you have the black graph okay but for the sake of this tutorial i'm going to use the white graph so that we can see really well so the first equation we want to put this is where we put our equations and this is the keyboard or the, the keys that allows us to input our function. So the first equation we want to put in, the equation requires us to find the domain of a ratio. Okay. So uh, the equation I have here is y is equal to, then it's a ratio. So I press this icon, then I come here, I clear the 1 over here, then I have into bracket 1 plus 1 sorry 1 plus x then bracket close then i come here i open bracket then i insert 1 minus x then i close the bracket now i press enter so this is my graph this is how the graph looks like this is how my graph looks like so if i like i can change the color of the graph to green darker green yellow orange brown um, or any color at all i prefer okay so just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to uh, use this uh, orange color. Now, now to analyze this equation or this graph to get your domain and all the other parameters that I called in the beginning of this tutorial, all you need to do is to come here and hover over these three icons. Now, if you click on this one, it is going to close or remove the equation. If you click on this guy, it's going to change the style of the graph like what i did earlier and i changed the color of the graph okay now the third little icon over here that looks like thunder if you click on that okay it is going to analyze the function for you and that is the uh, uh the key part of this tutorial so if you click on that you can see that we have domain here okay we have the range the x intercept the y intercept point of maxima and minimum point of inflection vertical horizontal and oblique asymptote as well as other parameters so if you look at this function the domain is what x is not equal to one what this means is that what our domain x belongs to what all real numbers except x is equal to one that is if you are given this equation and you have to find the domain all you need to do is to equate the denominator to zero and if you do that you are going to get s is equal to positive one which means your domain is defined on the set of all real numbers except s is equal to 1. So you can see that the function analysis option is giving you that, that s is not equal to 1. Now for the range, the range is what? y is a member of r, which means y belongs to all real numbers except y is equal to negative 1. Okay, so this is the interpretation. So it has what? The x intercept to be negative 1, the y intercept to be 1. But for this function, since it's not a quadratic curve, it doesn't have any point of what a minimal or point of maxima. Okay, now if we come down, we can see that the vertical asymptote is positive one, the horizontal asymptote is negative one, 
and we don't have an oblique asymptote as well as we have other parameters that we don't really need over here so this is how you can simply input your function and analyze it using your windows calculator so let's have a look at another function let me turn off this so that we don't see that so the next equation that i have is what y is equal to it is also a ratio so i click on that and i erase this guy so i have 2x then i come here on what 2 minus x okay now this is the graph okay like i said if i like i can change the color but i'm just going to maintain this color at the moment okay so all if you want to analyze this we just come here click on this little uh, analyze function button and then we can see that this is the analyzation of our function so we can see that the domain is is defined on all real numbers except s is equal to 2 and then the range what is a member of what all real numbers except y is equal to what negative 2 it doesn't have an x intercept or the sorry the x intercept is 0 the y intercept is also 0 if we scroll down we have the vertical asymptote is neg uh, positive 2 the horizontal asymptote is what negative 2 as well as um this doesn't have any oblique uh, asymptote okay so let's let's look at other functions uh, as well so um i want to input in a, a quadratic or a polynomial function so that you can see the point of maxima and minima being given so i have y is equal to the first equation i have here is what 3s squared minus 2x minus 2x plus 1 then i press enter so this is my equation as as you can see over here okay this is how the graph looks like for this function so if i analyze this function i can see that the domain is defined on all real numbers and then the range y is a member of or y belongs to what the range it means it starts from what this point okay um two on three which is if you zoom in two on three is going to give you a fraction that is between one and then 0 0.5 okay so that it starts from here and it goes to what positive infinity because if you I squeeze this and you can see that the top it has no end okay so it goes to positive infinity okay so it starts from here and then ends at infinity okay that is why we are using this curve over here because it doesn't end it goes on the it starts from here okay so which means it doesn't go beyond this point so we are using a solid bracket over here but we are using just this uh curve bracket over here to show that it doesn't end just at infinity now the x intercept we don't have an x intercept so this is the sign meaning we don't have an x intercept because the curve over here is not cutting the x axis anywhere now the y intercept is one because if you zoom in we can see that this is where the the curve cuts the y axis so the y intercept is one as shown over here now you can see that this curve is pointing upwards okay or is open upwards so it means that it has a minimal value okay now the minimal value is what two on three that is the y value okay so this is x this is y the minimal value is the y value so it's two on three and it occurs at what s is equal to one over three now there are tutorials on how to find the minimum or the maximum value of a quadratic function and i will leave that the link to that video in the description now if you do the calculation of this function you get to realize that the minimum value of this function is going to be what 2 on 3 and it will occur at what s is equal to 1 on 3 so assuming you are given this function and you are to find the minimum value and you are done you can come here use your windows calculator input the function analyze it and see whether your answer is correct before you submit for your lecturer or your instructor or your teacher to mark for you as we can see uh, these other options they they don't have any point so it was not given so let's analyze another function so i have another quadratic function over here so i have y is equal to then i have 5 minus x minus 2x squared all right so i press enter and this is my curve this is how my curve looks like so if i analyze this if i analyze this graph i have my domain to be what 
x belongs to what all set of what real numbers and then this is my range my range is start from what negative infinity as you can see from the bottom over here it doesn't end so that is from negative infinity and it ends at what um it ends at uh, y is uh, 41 on 8 and that ratio is uh, something just a little bit or slightly above 5 okay so that is the value of uh, 41 on 8 and that is our range so this over here is our range now this is the x intercept okay because we have two values over here so it's either x is equal to this or x is equal to this one of them will give you positive and one of them will give you negative okay so we have the y intercept is 5 if we zoom in we can see that at the y intercept that is where the curve cuts the y axis that is actually 5 as we can see over here so the y intercept is 5 it doesn't have a minimum point because it is not um like this it is not downwards it is pointing upwards so it has a maximum point so the maximum point of this graph is the y value over here so it is 41 on 8 and it occurs at what it, it occurs at x is equal to negative 1 on 4 like i said if you were to do the calculation of how to find the minimum or the maximum value of this function you get to realize that the maximum value will be 41 on 8 and then it will occur at x is equal to what negative 1 on 4 so these are the various or the the analysis that you can get uh, if you analyze this equation now the next thing i want to do is just to plot some um, some trigonometric uh, graphs so that we see how they look like for instance if i want to plot a sine graph okay so i just come here y uh, is equal to let's say sine sine x okay sine x so this is how the sine graph looks like okay this is how the sine graph looks like and if you analyze that you can see these are the analysis of the graph so the domain is defined on what all real numbers the range is from what uh, negative 1 to what positive 1 and then other uh, analysis as shown over here the period is 2 pi and then uh, other things as well so if I plot let's say y is equal to um, cos x this time around cos x and I enter this is how the cos graph looks like so this is the cos and this is the sign okay so you can see the sign is the green one over here sorry the blue one the cos is the green one over here so let's analyze uh, the cos so these are the analysis of the cos uh, function okay so uh, let me find tan so y is equal to let's say um, tan x so tan x I analyze that and this let me turn off these guys alright so this is how a tan curve or a tan graph looks like if you plot tan x okay so this is how the graph looks like so yeah so this this is basically how you analyze a function you just go to your windows calculator and then you come to your this little icon over here select your graphing calculator and then you can analyze any function at all that you want you can analyze all and every function that you need just make sure you input the function really well and you can get anything and everything you need okay so you, you use this little icon to change the color of the graph then you use the the little analyze function key over here to analyze your graph so thank you so much for watching and i hope this tutorial will help you simplify some of the things you do and then um will actually help you confirm some of your answers before you submit them to your teachers or instructors or lecturers for marking so thank you once again for watching and this is my science tutorials useful tips